Oh, hi. We're a little late. We're in here discussing nails. Um, we can't help it. We're in love with these new nails. I'm sure we'll bring, come up somewhere in conversation. Um, so anyway, hi everyone. Hope you're having a great day today. As always, we will be doing our giveaways for comments, answers, and shares. So make sure you get those in. When you share, please remember to share publicly so we can see that you've shared. Today we will be giving away two time traveler sets that I can't reach right now. Two time traveler sets, which are on sale right now. No, time traveler sets. I'm holding up the wrong thing. Here, these are what we're, we're giving away two of these. They give little nice instructions on what to do with them. Um, and two zip time sets, the other thing I was holding up with the shampoos in it. So we um, will, of course, also be giving away the iron at the end of the show. So, um, also we will be announcing the winners for our Instagram contest from this week, which was fun and exciting. And I have to tell you how fun it was looking through everyone's comments, smiles, curls, and long lasting styles. I had so um, much fun looking through those last night. I also love seeing the cute setups with the different little products all stacked together. I'm so glad that I didn't have to be the one choosing the winners. That is always so stressful for me because you just want to choose more and more and more. And as you can tell, I kind of like to give away stuff, so it'd be a problem. So um, the good news is we um, keep having more contests and prizes and giveaways for those of you who don't win the first time around. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Wait, now how, how's it go? Just keep, anybody know? Just keep swimming. How does she do it? Dory, anybody? Oh, how does she do it? Just keep swimming. I was trying to get to just, wait, I can't get the, oh, everybody at home is probably singing it, but if we get it, we'll, we'll come up with it. But I'm just trying to get to just keep entering, just keep entering. Gosh, how did I not get that? I cannot think of the beat at all. Keep swimming. Oh, it's going to drive me crazy. Okay. I'm trying to think of a great way for someone to enter if they don't already have a time product. So maybe we'll do something like reposting something we posted and then tell us what you think a time product or why a time product would bring joy into your life. So I'm going to take that to the team and then have them tell me when it would work for them because they have other posts um, scheduled, scheduled to go out. So I think that would be a good way to do it. What do you think, Jenny? Like, you know, just you guys repost something of ours and then tell us why it would bring joy into your life. I think that's a great idea. Like you guys bring joy into my life every Friday. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay, so um, what's everyone else think? Did you guys think that'll work? I think that'd be a good way for you guys that don't have a time product yet. Okay, we'll have to put that in the schedule. I will have them let me know a date when it works for them and we will let you know here or on Instagram. So just keep watching social media and we'll help you figure out when that contest is. Um, so that makes me think that we should also have a place on our website to give away for like for giveaways and announcements. So yeah, time team members, if you guys have an idea of how to incorporate it, that in. So if they were checking on our website, that might be a good place too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so if only we had a bigger team so that we could make everything happen as fast as we come up with the ideas. Ching. Um, if you only knew all of the ideas that we have floating around here that we're working on at any given time, uh, you would have an idea of how small our team is in comparison to all the ideas. <laughs> I'm not sure where all these ideas come from. Jenny, is that you? Oh, <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's Jenny. <laughs> okay. So Granted, our team is a bunch of amazing overachievers with the same goal in mind to inspire. Inspire people to believe that a company has them in mind when the products are made. To inspire cool new looks. To inspire you to have a good day. To inspire you to believe in the American dream. I know I do now. A couple of years ago, I might have been not so sure. Okay, no, I've, I've always been a believer in positive things, so I, I couldn't help but believe that. So. We also want to inspire maybe a laugh. And most of all, to inspire you to rock your own confidence. Now that's girl power, hashtag girl power. You'll notice that I do that a lot in comments and stuff. I always do hashtag and I put the muscle and then the dancing girl, no, dancing girl and then the muscle. That's like hashtag girl power. I'm just saying, good job. Way to empower yourself to do a great look and rock it with confidence. Love it, love it, love it. Not the other kind of, you know, hashtag girl power thing, you know, the, 
yeah. Anyway, I think women have a lot of great rights here in this country, and I'm really, really excited about it. As a business owner, I feel like we're doing pretty good. Not, not we, we as women, <laughs> not as in time. That could have come out really funny. I have a tendency to do that when I, you know, just, okay. So I think knowing what's trending and knowing how to create that look in your hairstyle is just one way for you to rock your confidence. But I want you to know that I do not feel your confidence is dependent on how you look. Does that make sense? Did I say that right? I feel like I didn't, but I, let me try it again. I want you to know that I do not feel that your confidence is not dependent on how you look. That doesn't make sense either. Your confidence is not dependent on how you look. That's it. Your confidence is not dependent on how you look, right? Your confidence comes from within. So don't, it's not the exterior that brings your confidence. The confidence comes from within. So give yourself that power. Okay. With that being said, I'm really enjoying the new look lately here at Time. We are calling it Perfectly Undone. And we have... Um, a couple of emails coming out about it and showing you that and we will also have some videos on our website soon so oh no I think the video is up already on our website so you can recreate it and this of course will be a reference for you as well I want to thank Brittany Fister for that name or for that name so she a couple weeks ago I was trying to come up with the name for it and she said perfectly undone so Brittany if you're um, on please send us a me private message we might have a gift for you Ching. Okay, in all the new styles I see trending this year, I see a few commonalities. And I wanted to show you today how to create this amazing new look and how to fake the elements if your cut isn't exactly right for it. Because mine isn't exactly right, but we can fake it. Okay, uh, a lot of the trends are going towards slightly longer in the front and then the main part in the back and all throughout is layered, slightly layered or slightly thinned out like from the bottom down. Okay, so um, not all of them are thin, some of them are really thick, and it kind of depends. But the main thing is, is that the angle is slightly longer in the front. Not an extreme long, just a little bit longer. So perfectly undone is a great way to accent these new looks. So let's get started with perfectly undone curls. Thank you, Brittany. Love that, love that. Okay, so I'm going to turn my iron on and brush through my hair, get myself set up for success. That's so key. So I did a blow drying video earlier today so that we can start um, helping teach you guys how to blow dry healthy and just putting that in a video instead of just on live. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just going to really hold those. I'm going to hold those zip times the whole time. That'll be real fun. Okay. So I tried something similar to this a couple of weeks ago and I really liked how that turned out, but I felt like I could be more there could be more to it. So I worked on it, analyzed what was missing, and broke the specifics down for you. And now we are just loving it. So let's get started now that my iron's heated up. Okay, let me get my, I always get my <laughs> cord caught on my chair. It's, I don't know, I don't, I don't normally get to um, curl in a chair. I'm not one of those girls that has a vanity <laughs> as much as I may want one, because, yep, it's helpful. Okay. So we're going to start with a deep side part, okay? So we want a deep side part. And this can be, you know, um, as like straight as you want it, okay? You can do it really straight if you like it that way. Ooh, I think I kind of like that today. I might do that. Um, but you can also do, like, if you don't like how, you know, sometimes people's cut, um, it'll get like not as full on this side. So it'd be like, you know, it would look like, it was more flat and then this side would look really full and you can do either one I think for this look either one is good um, or if that bothers you that this is like that you can also part at an angle like that okay so if you part at that angle then this side will be more balanced so it's up to you um, both are good for this I'm gonna go with that deeper part because I kind of like that today and that's not normal for me so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna I'm gonna rock it with confidence <laughs> I hope <laughs> at the end, unless I panic. Okay, so I have prepped my hair with upstage thermal protectant um, because I want it to, I spray it in A for the thermal protectant, but today I want more definition in my curl. So I want the curl to show. A lot of times in the past we show like um, curls joining together and brushing them together and things like that. And so that is less definition in the curl, okay? So when the curls are conforming together, it's less definition. When you can see more of individual pieces having waves in it, then that's 
More definition. Okay, got that? <laughs> I think I got that right. Okay, so I'm going to start in the back by alternating curl direction, okay? So on the top pieces, we're going to use a little bit smaller pieces and underneath you can go a little bit bigger. Now it also depends on your hair type. I have thick, coarse hair, which means I have to be very cognizant when I want curl definition to show because it doesn't naturally do that on me. So I need to pick smaller pieces on the surface area to help show that. If you have finer hair, you don't have to worry about it as much. You can just pick some pieces and go because you can intermix big and small. Okay, so this is kind of a back piece. And we're going to, I'm gonna start by just going forward. Okay, so I'm going down and forward with this. And I kind of showed this in the, woo, I might have over-rotated that one. We don't wanna do that. Okay, so let me see if I can get that out of here. I'm going to um, take that curl and make it less. Oh, there, that's what kind of curl we want. So we want the curl in the back to start at about, mm, somewhere at about eye level. That might be a little too low. Um, but it's it's perfectly undone, so don't overanalyze it and don't overdo it. Don't go back in and fix it. You don't need to. So we're looking at the curls starting up here in the back, about eye level, okay? And then I'm going to have them drop down to mouth level. Lip level? What's better? I think lip level lip sounds level better. Sounds mouth better. sounds a little bit blah. Okay, <laughs> so we're going to start with up here and then drop down to here for my length. On Jenny's length, which is about you know, somewhere between chin and shoulder in there, you'll want to start up higher. Oh, I'm going totally off track because I have this in later. So if I repeat it, it's because I wrote it in later because I didn't want to forget. So um, for Jenny's, you would start above eye level and drop below eye level going down to chin, okay? So you're, you're going in there. So you're steeper slope for longer hair. And then you drop lower if you have even longer hair than me which is now possible because I cut mine a lot lately. And I, I am loving it. I am loving shorter looks right now. I, I just didn't think I'd ever see that day. <laughs> I'm not sure if anybody ever thought I'd see that day, really. Okay, so this time I'm alternating. I'm not getting in my curls very fast here. Okay, so I'm alternating and drawing down to the floor and I'm leaving out the bottom. So I want these really undone, okay? Don't overthink these, okay? Guys, these are going to be very imperfect and that's okay. So we're going to, so my piece is getting lower, so I'm gonna take a little bit bigger section. Now, the key to this is not over rotating, and you wanna draw down. So what do I mean by drawing down? And I don't know how to not over rotate today, apparently, I'm over rotating. It must be because I'm in the back of my head. Okay, so what is the key to drawing down? Okay, let's talk about that. I think that's, um, very important. Oh, sorry, I'm messing you all up on. I'm not <laughs> sticking on today. Usually I stay with all the things I wrote because I go off track too much otherwise. All right, so I'm gonna go away again and I'm just barely going to move forward. You'll notice my guidelines are more towards my face and then I draw down. Okay, that's the kind of curl we want. Okay, so how do we draw down a curl? Normally, I want you to work at this 45 degree angle, rotate, and then push down to the mirror, okay? This one, we're going more like a fireman's pull or a goal post, and the keys to that then are barely rotate, but still go forward and down. But you want to emphasize the down in this case that will help your curls look more elongated and more natural. I still am rotating too much though. I'll get it right for you, I promise. <laughs> Even I make lots of mistakes in it, but it'll come together somehow. We'll get it to work. As long as we don't what? Panic. <laughs> okay, so I wanna think of the fireman sliding down the pole as much as possible when we glide, okay? So we're going to come in, barely rotate, and come down to the floor. Okay, so there we go. Just more relaxed curl. I think that's right. I always can't see because of the comments, but I like seeing your comments scrolling across. It makes me feel like I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> so much better. Even though I have three people in the room today. <laughs> we had a friend pop in right as we were just about to start, I was, and she said, where did you get your, what did you do to your nails? So we've been testing this chrome. Jenny's been helping me test it out. 
It's been fun. It's messy, but it's, it's cool. Messy, right. It's really cool. Just send us a couple people are wanting to know if you can get perfectly undone curls if you've curled it on a different day and then starting like or do you have to start from straight hair? Uh yeah, I mean it depends on what you started with. Okay, so imagine if you started with like crazy curly up here and you need to get them down here. I would brush through and honestly, okay, so it depends on your curls, but this is a couple of times like before live when I was um, <laughs> trying to go from other countries and then come here. I, does that make sense? I'm not, I'm not like, like flying there, but when we did a live in the other countries and then I go here, well, I would literally go to the sink and I would wet down the curl and then I would pull on it and blow dry it and that could get you closer to this look and that might be a way if you feel like your hair is um, too curly for this look. And I'll kind of help you um, get through that. Like wh you'll know the points, like it's very important to have this more flat um, up here and just smooth. So if that will be your telltale sign. If you're flat and smooth here, you probably can get the rest to get there. So just, you know, you can just wet that down a little bit or dampen it or sometimes if you just blow dry it, it'll take it out. But now we don't want to remove too much moisture. So put a little bit of water on or a thermal protectant before you blow dry it out. Okay. Okay. So I'm taking smaller sections and drawing down the curl back here and alternating my curl direction so that you get a look kind of like this. This one's a little bit too put together, I think. Okay. I don't know if I... Okay, sorry, I had to get above the comments so I could see. All right, so I'm gonna go to the right side and draw down the curl. Um, so again, smaller pieces at the top. Less rotation, okay, and I have to really be cognizant of how to not rotate. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good move. Okay, so if we, it's almost like if I could rewind that, I'd be like, okay, this is how I want you to do it. Now, your hair might curl different than mine. You might need a little more rotation. The goal is to get valleys and peaks in this and not have it like a tunnel, okay? You don't want it like a tube. Do you remember when you were a kid in those tube tunnels? <laughs> They'd be like, whoosh, and you'd crawl through it. You don't want that in this, okay? Like, I messed that up over here, right? This one's good, but there was one in here that was really like, Tubular. <laughs> tubular. Totally tubular. Oh, man. I had to say it. I had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just had to do it. Okay. So, um, you don't want to be totally tubular. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, Gabe. I know he's going to make fun of me for that for like a year. <laughs> okay. So, you just barely want to rotate and make sure your iron is very much up and down and not like um, at a 45 degree angle, which is what I'm normally teaching. There's a lot of things in this look that are very current for 2017 and are changing a lot of how we've been curling in the last couple of years. I can't even believe it's been a couple of years that we've been doing this. I feel like an expert on curling now. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> Gabe again. Okay. What did you say, Gabe? Gabe yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna be getting all kinds of grief after this one. It'll be funny. Okay. So, um, all right. So you want to keep the um, sections relatively small as you're moving forward and down, like the fireman's pull. Okay. And leave out the ends. You can leave out the ends more or less. Do you see how great that curl is? It's nice and lean, which is so different than what we've been doing in the past. Um, and But the trick is, is to keep those valleys and peaks in it while it's um, lean. So usually in lean curls, they, they lose their valleys and peaks. So that's the key thing. You just have to learn with your rotation while you're keeping it more up and down like the field goal post or fireman's pull. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate in. Jacinda, why are you alternating? Is there a reason for the look you're going for? Okay, yes. So the reason I'm alternating curls is because I want more definition in this curl. So the closer the curls, when the curls look the same and are have the same angle, they will merge together better. And what I want is these curls to kind of fight each other and create curl confusion throughout the rest of the style so that the definition shows 
in this look. You can also do it without alternating. If you, you know, if it's too advanced for you to alternate curls, don't do it. Just, um, just try and keep the definition in it, and that's the main thing. Because some people's hair, like my hair, really merges together um, as as the curls conform to each other. Um, but Jenny's don't. Hers, don't you think yours yeah, stay I better? Yeah, last weekend with the all going the same way. Yeah, like Jenny did it last week with all going the same way. So it, you know, you can do either one. The key elements to this are elongating the curl in the front and. Um, what else? Uh, bigger sections in the front, which we'll get to in a little bit, and smaller in the back. That's key. And then lower. We don't want it way up to the top on this. You know, we don't want to overthink this. We just want to go in, curl from like, you know, the eye, you know, depending on your length. Somewhere in here is where the curls start. I've explained it earlier. I didn't want to get into it again because I feel like I was going to talk too long about it if I, if I got into like different lengths. So we can rewind if we need to go there. I might recap at the end. Okay. So I'm, I've got two funny of a section. So you want your um, sections really vertical for this to help. Just remember, you always want a section based on how you're going to hold the iron in. It helps you like... You know how some people, I've seen people like trying to find, so they'll take a section and they're like trying to get the iron in there and it's like too big. So if you think about what angle you want to capture the hair in is how you take your section, okay? So if I want to go in at this angle, do you see how my section is taken at that angle? That really helps you set up for success. All those foundation pieces really help, like brushing each piece and you know doing all of that stuff. Oh no, did I take my front piece? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just destroyed the whole look. Let's see if we can fix it. Don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> okay. All right, so what else can we talk about? Do we have any questions? Uh, yeah, they wanna know if your breath, the brush you're using, <clears throat> is it a wet brush or a dry brush? So this brush, I use both wet and dry. I think the difference between a wet brush and a dry brush is basically the give in the bristles, okay? So if you have a stiff bristle, it pulls and snags, and when your hair is wet, it seems to stretch more. So, um, you know, it you don't want it pulling and stretching it as much, you know what I mean? So you want the give in the bristles so that when it's going through your hair, it will give if your hair doesn't, you know, because it's more tangled or anything. So I think this can be used for both wet and dry. Actually, no, I don't think. I know because I do it all the time. So my daughter does too. Did Yeah, so it can be, I, I think it's both. Okay. So now, <clears throat> my section size in the back was more like, you know, smaller pieces. And then in the front, I want to so separate this into like two and and keep it as big as possible and then I'm also dropping the curl down further so it's very important to keep this section nice and brushed out and fanned out we want less definition in the front we want this to look more worn we want this curl to look more worn so let's see if I can score on the first time okay you think it's gonna happen okay so we want to be so I want it to start at my like lip level, so I'm gonna start just a little bit above that. Come in. And, okay. So just a little bit. I don't know if I like that little kink part there because I was trying to hold it nice and vertical. We'll see if it goes away. If it doesn't, I'll fix it later. Okay. So nice and fanned out like a sheet of paper. That's so important, so important all the time if you can. I really don't like that piece. We'll see. I'm not going to panic though. All right. So we're going to come in. I want to go here. I'm just barely going to go down and forward. And it was a fail. Oh, no, that wasn't too bad. Oh, just kidding. Oh, nailed it. I, was, I thought it was a fail. I really thought that was a fail to start, but I think that's exactly what we want. We just want it to be like barely there. And so you know, those are the kind of curls that when you first are curling, you kind of panic about all of these. I think when you first start with the iron, you're kind of like, why is my hair not curling like it's on the videos? Well, you know, there's little things that you can tweak, like rotating more or holding a different angle or going a little slower that make your curl pop back. 
and on this front one we want to heat it long enough so that it stays but we don't want it to necessarily pop back so it's probably good that I almost went into panic mode there so that you can see how that curl was like bleh, at first but I just shaped it into place and it'll stay there because where hair cools is where it stays okay just so they want to know if this the spray the heat protector uh -huh. if they spray it on before they curl do they need do you need to put it on before blow drying as well like they want to know yeah. exactly when I love um, especially our thermal protectant I think you know all thermal protectants aren't created equal so where you put them in probably varies um, some of them might be more geared to put in wet hair and some might be geared to put in dry hair. I think this one's geared to put into damp hair. I like it right before the blow dry and then I don't have to touch it again. So it's done. It sets my hair up for having more control, more hold, and um, shine. And so it can, it can be the signy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that video. Okay, so you can have lots of different things from the thermal protectant, and I like it from the beginning to set my foundation so that I don't have to think about it again. And they say, what, the, what if you shower at night and uh -huh. then do your hair in the morning? Should you spray it on again? Uh, I would put it in damp. So here's the difference, right? So if you go to bed with your hair soaking wet and you... Um, and it won't really absorb the product, then there's no point of putting the product on. But if you go to bed with your hair damp, then there might be a great chance. Now, I've never done a study to see if thermal protectant will absorb into your pillow or into your hair, you know, things like that. So you kind of have to gauge that. I would guess that if you gave it a, you know, a bit of drying time before you went to bed, I think that you would be okay. Um, but your hair will tell you your results, right? If something is off, then you need to pay attention to it. Like if your hair looks like, oh, it doesn't look as shiny or it's not, you know, it feels like the texture is funny or it starts looking, you know, that cord I use all the time and it starts like looking like this then something is off. You need to change your routine. But if you start with that and it's working and your hair is listening and it's working, then trust your hair and trust your instincts and, and it, will, it will tell you right as long as you're paying attention to it, you know? So, but you can also spray it in the morning and just kind of dry it in a little bit or maybe you can use the cool shot on your blow dryer. So I found out that people didn't know what this is. So the cool shot right here, if your blow dryer has that, then you can use the cool shot um, to blow dry in, you know, something like a thermal protectant so you aren't putting more heat on and extracting more of the moisture. Extracting? <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so ours comes with the cool shot on, so don't panic if, if, you, if you are getting cold air. <laughs> okay. okay, so brush your big piece in the front again. Oh yes, the very. I think this is very key to know that you want um, your. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the curls in the front. Okay, so we alternate the curls all throughout, and then we want the curls in the front to both go away from the face. Okay, that's the key. That's the key key factor. So make sure you change it right before you get to the face frame that they. Are the same direction going away from your face okay um, all right I think we're good with that okay so does everybody get how to draw down a curl more vertical less turn drag down like the fireman pull and and create a nice big crease because you went against <coughs> all my rules oh no so did everybody get why I did that see how my Parting is horizontal, okay? I have a big horizontal part and I squished it and that's how I got a crease there. I should know better. Oh, who didn't tell me to do that? Does anyone know? Oh, goodness. Okay, so how do we not panic and get that right? <laughs> Let's see, turn my hair up maybe. Okay, so it's a little better but since it's not erased yet, I'm just gonna go in with the flat iron side. Okay, so you know, you'll really want to elongate the front. If your hair isn't longer in the front, we need to make it appear that it is in this look, okay? So rather than going in and heating that piece 10 more times, do you see what I'm doing? I'm putting it in place where I want it to cool and we'll see if it cools in place where I want so I don't 
keep hitting it over and over because of my epic fail in the beginning because of my bad foundation choice. Okay, I found another piece back here. I think that wasn't working. Okay. Jacinda, we got yep. a specific question. Okay. Jacinda, what made you make this product, the Time Iron? The Time Iron. Why did I make this product? So I was always teaching people um, how to blow dry and things like that in the salon. And one of the things people asked me quite often was how I would get my curls. And I would get them um, through um, curling with a flat iron. And it was just so hard to teach people. And then once I started developing it, I found that it was so much better than curling with a flat iron because I can get any shape I want. I can draw down my curl. I can get more full curls just by just a little bit more or less movement. And the other thing is, is that it's very comfortable. So I didn't, you know, if you would have told me back in the day that you were going to find something that I would like better than a flat iron, I wouldn't have believed you because I, it was so easy for me to curl with a flat iron. But then once I started using this, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much easier on my wrist. I don't have to get in all these contorted wrists. Like it was starting to hurt my wrist by doing this all the time. And you don't have to do those kinds of things. So what I, I wanted something that would be faster for women and then... I didn't know that it was going to be so many more things. I didn't know that it was going to make the curls stay longer. I didn't know things like it was going to straighten as well. I, I just thought once I got it curling, I didn't know it was going to do both. I, know, I don't know how goofy that is, but my daughter straightened with it one day and I was like, oh, that is so cool. So it was just about, you know, trying to solve problems for people is really why I created it. You know, longer lasting curl that was created faster. That was more versatile because I didn't want to like pack two tools on a trip, you know, and that was a, that's a real dilemma when you have like bangs and shoes and things that you want to pack and you can't like, it's a real dilemma. It's a first world problem, but it is a problem. So I wanted to solve it. Okay. Like this is a first world problem. This piece right here, that is a first world problem, but I'm going to solve it. <laughs> Thanks for asking that question. That brings back old memories for me. <laughs> okay, so um, so from here, what you want to do is try and get more separation in here. So you're going to spray, and do you see how I lift and spray? So I'm spraying with purpose, okay? So that's a key thing we want to do, but I don't touch these front sections because I don't want them to have more body. I want them to be more long. I just want to get separation in here, okay? And so the goal is to have texture and separation in there and then thicker pieces in the front that make it look more like second day hair and more natural. Okay, so make sure you spray with purpose. I caught Tammy again the other day, not spraying with purpose. Tammy's in here reading questions today. So for those of you, she doesn't get to watch the lives because she's usually helping run the warehouse, but Spraying with purpose, Tammy. Are you watching? <laughs> okay. So lift and spray. Because I want, you know, that net that I talk about all the time that it creates? I want the net to kind of push and build and separate underneath. So that's why I'm lifting and spraying, okay? And then in the front, I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to spray with purpose by putting it right in that spot and putting it right in place, okay? So you leave your ends out. Now, for most people, I'm not sure that you want your hair quite as full as mine in this. The goal is for it to be kind of a leaner look and longer. Um, but you know, this will, in about five minutes, this will be where I want it. So, all right. So this is how Perfectly Undone looks. And if I miss the back, it's because I don't have a mirror and I have comments. Um, so. Mm -hmm. Looks good. You know, awesome. I'm sure I'll get some critiques about it on comments, but it's okay. I've grown much thicker skin now, and I can handle it. But I do love your positive comments so much more. Okay. So, we, um, what, what did I say about the fullness at the scalp? Oh, if you want to do... Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, one of the key elements to this, too, like, in the past, I would always try and get my hair down. And in this look, I want this to be more up, Okay. So um, we are going to put out a video. I blow dried my hair earlier today in here so that I could teach you how to get this look in a blowout first. 
So we'll be um, posting that on our website soon. We're getting a whole new page that's gonna be all like educational for you and I'm so excited about it. Um, and like I said, our team is smaller than our dreams are. So we are going to keep working on it for you to get that educational thing so that any look you wanna create at any, any given time will have a nice little area for you to go see it. So you can see how to blow dry quickly and then it's broken down in words. And then you can see how to do this style quickly and it's broken down in words and pictures, you know, things like that. So we're working on it. It's coming. It's coming. But in the meantime, we're sending it out in email form too. So that's um, available for you as well soon. Um, if you're if you're signed up for our emails, I think did we, we put, put the link in? Well, did, you? did we? Oh, uh, did I? Ooh, I think I we put the link it. in. I, I think I put the link in in the ad copy. Yes, I I think I did. Okay. I think I did. It's a little hectic in here before lives, trying to set up lights and stuff and. <laughs> All that good stuff when I'm not a lighting expert and neither is Jenny, we're just making it up. Okay, so we cannot wait to see your post showing us how this look works for you. We love seeing um, you know, all the different creations you guys come up with based on this. And um, a couple of our stylists actually were inspired by this look when we were creating the email. So they both um, have done videos on it. So they'll be coming out soon. And um, I think we posted Savannah's back of her hair, how she got the look. And she gave us some pointers, um, right? So do we have those pointers that Savannah? So Savannah um, gave me the differences of how she curled her hair. So she was doing um, a loose horizontal and then she tried um, vertical but it got too curly so then she had to rotate a lot less um, and then what did she say straight down was too curly and then so then she drew down diagonally oh so she she started vertical and then drew down diagonally and barely rotated okay but the goal is to get a defined curl that's long and lean so everybody's hair type is a little different in how it shapes and how it forms so yeah, so that was kind of um, some of Savannah's tips. And so maybe we'll have her on or something. She is having a video coming out soon. They recorded it, I think, yesterday. So, um, yeah, so that'll be helpful for you guys, too, to, to get a different version of this. All right. So, do we have winners or do we have... What am I missing here? Am I missing something? Yeah, I did this. So, okay. You have I have an interesting last question. Does your shampoo and conditioner help with frizz or do you have another product for that which... You're working on, correct? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Liquid gold, I'm telling you. We can't name it that, but I would if I could. I'm telling you, the, the one everybody fights over in here. And um, so, okay. So shampoo and conditioner, does it help with frizz? What the shampoo and conditioner does is just helps your hair perform its best. So it just makes your hair go up to its potential. Um, do you think it helps with frizz? I, it depends on where the frizz is coming from, really. You know, there's so many different types of frizz that happen that I don't want to blanket it and say, yes, it helps with frizz because frizz is so many, it comes in so many different forms. It comes when you blow dry, it comes from humidity, it comes from lots of different things. But what it does is it helps your hair perform um, at its best. So um, we do have one that's specifically going to target um, repair and shine, which is another form of frizz. So, um, but there's one thing that I don't think any product can help is frizz coming from too much tension on irons and tools and frizz coming from over drying your hair. So, you know, the main thing is you want to make sure you address and make sure it's healthy and shiny all the time because the shine is the sign. <laughs> I am on a roll today. Yes. Yeah, so the shine is the sign, okay, so that your hair is staying healthy. So just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You got it. Yes. Thank you. Just keep trying. <laughs> Thank you, Tara. We got it. Yes. Everybody out there was like, I'm going to will it to you. Hooray. Okay. So, um, yeah, so uh, now that we're swimming, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> okay. So just, you know, just watch your hair. Your hair tells you what to do. So just make sure you um, are listening to it and watching it. And, you know, if there's a certain kind of frizz, you know, you need to figure out what's causing that frizz. Okay? All right. Um, but yes, thermal protectant does help frizz in some ways too. But if it's if it's heat and tension, nothing's gonna stop it. I don't care how good your product is. So make sure that it's not due to that. That's the key thing. But the other kinds of tension, it will help. Tension, no. 
The other kinds of frizz, it will help. Don't Not tension. Attention. Delete, delete, abort, abort. I didn't say that. <laughs> abort the mission. Okay. Maybe you should show the trick about getting the frizzies with the hairspray. Oh, yeah. I love that trick. Okay. So if you, you know, are like here, I have a little bit of frizz here. So that's one kind of frizz. That is from when I'm curling, um, you rotate and you turn up all the hair. So what you're doing is you're turning up all, so if I have little hairs here, it will cause frizz there. If you have that kind of frizz, or you know, you got your hair colored, or you know, something, and you have frizz up here, what you wanna do is spray with purpose, use the side of your can, sorry Jenny if I got you over there, and then you can smooth that, okay? So let me do it on this side, and you can smooth that, okay? So that's one way to really deal with frizz, um, Oh, let me see. I gotta get that specific spot here. Okay, there. So you know, there's many, many different forms of frizz. So you have to figure out which um, form it's coming from, and then we can tell you how to solve it. And if you don't know how to, maybe we'll break down how to tell what frizz is what one day. That yeah. that's gonna be. I'm gonna need some time to do that. So it's <laughs> gonna be not a product development week. It's gonna have to be a really focused on the show week. Okay. What else? We have Instagram contest winners. I'm so excited about those. You guys, those posts were so adorable. And like, I seriously get choked up with you guys, like getting us, like saying, you know, they really spend the time on it. They love that the, um, the scent goes across the line. I just love it. You guys and all the chings and everybody writing ching everywhere. I'm just loving it. It makes everybody smile. Everybody, everybody. We so. have one thing we're going to read for you. You have something you want to read for me? Okay. From the winner last week. The oh, the winner week. last week? Okay. Okay. So read this, loud so they can hear you. This is a comment from Chris, the winner from last oh, week. Oh, Chris Poor. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> we love Chris. He is funny, funny. Okay. Okay. He said, I want to let everyone know that I was the iron winner from last week. Firstly, the women associated with this company are incredible. Secondly, we received the iron on Monday. Thirdly, the iron is as advertised. It is a miracle worker. <laughs> My fiance has been having a blast with it. It saved her a bunch of time and her hair is fabulous. Do yourself a favor and invest in yourself. You are totally worth it. Aww. Not only did the iron arrive, it was accompanied with some shampoos. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> yeah. everyone. You are truly a blessing. Yeah. Hashtag time team. We, you know, Chris has, Chris was really cute. Um, Chris is a, he um, he's a, he's was a, a, he's a veteran. I don't know from where or when. I don't know his age or anything. I haven't uh, Facebook stalked him or anything. But, um, you know, he's a military. Oh, I'm getting all choked up from that. Chris, that's almost twice. So he sent us a thank you last week after he won, and it was really cute, and we passed it around our team because we always pass around good, awesome things that we think spread um, you know, joy to the rest of the team. And Chris, you did that for us last week, so thank you very much. And now you might have done it for everybody on live if they could hear Jenny. I hope they could. I hope so. Um, I hope so, too. <laughs> Jenny's kind of a quiet talker. I, I normally am, but for you guys, I speak up. <laughs> okay, so... Um, thank you, Chris. We appreciate your notes. It makes our team smile regularly, and um, we love seeing you on here. So, uh, okay, so let's see the winners, the Instagram contest okay. winners. Okay, so these are the Instagram contest winners for the Time Traveler set, okay? Okay, so we have Audrey Malleus. Malleus? What do you think? I think so. M-A-L-I-A-S. Audrey, you're a winner. Congratulations of the Time Traveler set. And Jill Beck is the other winner for the Time Traveler set. So um, those are the Instagram ones. Now we have the um, wallet clutch system. Okay, so that you this person gets to choose which color they want. So there's midnight brown. There is sinfully gold. I like simply, see, because you're not supposed to put golds together, but we did, and I think they're simply awesome. Okay, so simply gold, um, and all of them come with like the straps, three. and they have three different straps. So they have the wristlet, and then I want to show you how we wear this because I don't think we've showed this I think yet. This is a Ryan's little strap. Yeah. Oh, like oh no, <laughs> my uh, we shortened one for my daughter, so I can't quite show this one. <laughs> That is so funny. So anyway, we wear it to the side. I think it's okay. I'll fake it. All right. You guys can understand. This is my husband cut it down for my daughter so it would fit her. So <laughs> you wear it like up and down like this instead. And it's really, um, it's, it's so crazy how much it helps and how we feel like it's like not like, you know how some of the clutch, no, what are they called? Crossbody bags. 
and yeah, they they so lay wide. like this, and it it's almost feels like my grandma's bag now because <laughs> you know it's like it, it's across, across. Right? and this is more like I don't know, it's got a little you know fashion Very style. Really. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but we just love it, and you can pick it up real easy and. Uh, we just love it around here. So um, we look like a little bit of goofballs that we're all walking around with <laughs> different color wallets and the same, but you can't help it once you switch to the system. Um, you know, you, you're not going to go back to breaking your nails to get your wallet out, that's for sure. Okay, so anyway, you get to choose um, which one you're going to win. Um, and who is the winner of this one? I didn't get to see. I didn't get to announce it. It is. Okay, so Jennifer Moore, you get to choose your um, Sinfully Gold, Midnight Brown, or Notoriously White. Mm -hmm. Is it Notoriously? Notorious. Notorious. <laughs> Notorious. Notoriously White? Yeah. Sheesh, I can't. I get all confused. Am I just keep swimming? Songs. <laughs> I'm so glad Tara was here today. We would have never come up with that otherwise. Thanks for popping in, Tara. Okay, so winners from today. Okay. We're just wiggling the table all over the place. Sorry, guys, if you feel like you're in a hurricane. Good thing that the phones have their self-leveling. Otherwise, you guys would really be in a hurricane. Oh. Ooh. Can you show the difference between the wallets? Sorry. Difference between the wallets? Sure. Okay, so we can do that in a second. Let's do winners first, and then whoever wants to see the difference between the wallets, okay. I'll um, announce that in a little bit, or talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so the zip time with shampoos winners are Maxi Mancineras. Maxi Mancineras. And Linda Marie. And Linda Marie are our shampoos and zip time winners. Okay. Okay, and then we have two time traveler set winners. And two time traveler set winners from today. Katie LaPriest. Katie LaPriest. And Marlene Machado Sousa. Marlene Machado Sousa. 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 I think Sousa. Okay, and the iron winner. Who's our winner winner chicken dinner for the iron? Lacey Adams. Lacey Adams is our winner for the iron. So congratulations to all the winners. So next week we're on vacation. Our, our um, kids are out of school, so we're traveling down to... Phoenix, Arizona, and we are going to do our live from there. So it should be interesting. We'll have a different background, and we're going to have a fun little show for you there. So we are excited to see you next week from a whole warm state. I cannot wait. I love Iowa. Man, it is cold here. So let's get to a nice warm state. Oh, my gosh. He's wiggling the table. All right. It's Earth, earth Shake. Okay. So on our Earth Shake way out. Bye, everybody.